so now we are going to talk about the electric field due to a dipole at equatorial point equatorial point means it is perpendicular to the center right so this is the center of this is a and this is point b okay so again the same thing we are considering uh, what will be the net electric field and look at this here minus q charge this is minus q charge and the electric field at this point p which is at the distance of r from the center okay r we will consider always r this is a a okay so look at this here electric field due to this minus q charge at p will be in this direction because it will be attractive because when you put a small positive charge here it will come in this direction right and what about electric field due to this plus q charge it will be in this direction in the repulsive direction okay so that is what is in this direction so e plus and e minus i have given so what about the net electric field net electric field will be e net in this direction so before that i would like to give you one more thing that is you have to get the angle idea also the idea of angle also you have to get look at this let's say the angle is this one is theta then you know that this this is a and this is a this is the common side r this angle is 90 degree this angle is 90 degree since it is perpendicular it is perpendicular so this angle is 90 this angle is 90 this is theta and this is a a and the common side r so this angle will be theta and this is bisector angle are bisector so this angle will be equal to this angle okay so i can say that this angle will be theta this angle will be theta obviously this angle will be theta and this angle will be theta so what i am going to write is i am going to do something that is i will take this portion this electric field portion that is i will draw it here okay so it will be this is the point p where positive field e plus is acting in this direction or, or e plus is acting in this direction e minus is acting in this direction e minus and what about this e net will act in this direction e net why why in the per, per, perfectly in this direction because this angle is theta this angle is theta we have seen that okay so according to our rule that is this is a vector this is a vector e plus is a vector e minus is a vector so e net obviously it will be a vector and what about what about the direction of e plus e plus the direction of e plus i can i can resolve into two direction that is one will be in this direction and other one will be in this direction so i would like to draw it with so this will be e plus sin theta resolve it resolve it what about in this direction this will be e plus cos theta okay two is i i have resolved it into two this one and this one and what about this one e minus e minus also we can resolve we can resolve into in this direction that is e minus sin theta and then here e plus e minus cos theta so e minus cos theta e minus cos theta uh, if you can't see that i will draw it here so it will be e minus cos theta look at this so now it is very clear the picture is very clear right now so this e plus sin theta the magnitude of e plus sin theta and magnitude of e minus sin theta both are equal because one is plus plus q and another one is minus q but the directions are different or opposite to each other so this one and this one will cancel each other they will cancel each other so what is the remaining thing we have that is e plus cos theta e minus cos theta both are in the same direction so the net electric field will be e net will be equal to e net will be equal to 2 e cos theta 2 e cos theta okay and let me ask you another question let me ask you another question what about this distance the distance of this one this one will be root of a square plus r square any doubt because this is the hypotenuse a and r and this one will be also root of a square plus r square both are equal that is why we have given e only both e plus and e minus both are magnitude wise both are equal but only direction matters direction is different so let's look at this e net will be equal to again i can write it as again i can write it as i will write here okay 
e that will be equal to 2 into e. How much is e? kq divided by r square. How much is r square? r is root of a square plus r square. I mean r means this one. The distance between them. That is root of a square plus r square the whole square into cos theta. Look at this. Look at this figure. How much is cos theta? Cos theta is nothing but a divided by, I am just inside, a divided by hypotenuse root of a square plus r square. So cos theta is nothing but a divided by root of a square plus r square. a square plus r square. So again I can write it as, look at this, this is a square plus r square the whole square, it will be a square plus r square into a square plus r, root of a square plus r square. So it will be 2kq, k I would like to take outside. So in a single step we can write it. Look at this. Q into 2a. Q into 2a. It is p divided by what about this one? a square plus r square. The whole square, root of a square plus r square. The whole square. That is a square plus r square into root of a square plus r square. That is a square plus r square all raised to 3 by 2. This will be the value of Okay, E net will be equal to this much. And the direction of E net will be in this direction. Okay, you can find out theta. Angle you can find out. Okay, so that will be the direction of E net. I think you have got it. So again, uh, we will discuss in the next video. That is, we have to find out E a square plus r square. And we will conclude all these equations. Okay, so this is what is the electric field. E net due to E net at point, at equatorial point.